need hobbies to sustain me emotionally, okay? This is fine. This is fine. I don't understand where this is going wrong. <laughs> I got a sewing mission for my birthday. The first place I went to go look for fabric was Liberties in London. I have always wanted a fabric from here and I've never had a reason, so now I was essentially throffing at the mouth to go do this. Liberties are really well known for their fabric and their prints. They had so many London themed fabrics, which I'm desperate to use, I need an excuse for them. But ultimately I got a William Morris print fabric, specifically the Strawberry Freeth. It's such a classic, so why not? Next, I explored McClotplush and Wallace on Poland Street. Got some matching thread to the fabrics, but I just bought, and then I also accidentally bought um, fabric that was 24 pounds a meter. I thought it was 12 pounds a meter. It was 24 pounds a meter. It is honestly one of the nicest fabrics I've used even at this point. It is a cotton linen blend. It's brilliant. So honestly, for the first fabric I worked with, I felt very, very spoiled, but check, check before anybody gets the scissors out. Oh my God, just triple, double, triple, quadruple check. So this is where I started, making scrunchies with an overpriced fabric. scrunchies and a couple pieces of test fabric was how I really started going. It's the ideal amount of challenge in a really small thing but works very very well I think. Good learning curve. The other thing with scrunchies, right, is it's really easy to make a lot of them and then have people that you can give them away to. So really efficient thing to start with, in my opinion. I've also mainly been teaching myself with a combination of TikTok and YouTube. TikTok will essentially suggest a new skill to learn or something new to make. And then to get in-depth instructions, I will usually find a YouTube tutorial. It's been working really, really well in combination for me. I said that myself. The natural next step to once I got confident with the scrunchies was buying a pattern. I bought a skirt pattern, a beginner friendly pattern, which you, you'll see, you'll see. But I have to say, if you're interested in getting into sewing, just know it comes with an unfathomable amount of cutting and sticking paper.
Okay, Mum and I have been discussing, it's something odd is going on with this pattern. Like, it's a pattern I bought on Etsy. I measured just like a little box on the PDF I printed and it's like, oh, if this is two centimeters, it's correct. I measured it, it's two centimeters. So for all intents and purposes, this should be correct. I've measured myself and I sized up just in case. This is meant to be the top bit of the skirt. Like, it's meant to be two of these. This is the small. Ain't no fucking way. How? I don't, I, I, I mum and I cannot understand how if I've done everything perfectly, measured myself, cut out the correct size. No. What? Ugh, I don't have to fix it. I don't have experience for when things go wrong. That's the problem. I have ADHD. I have audacity and believe I can do everything, but only when it goes perfect. Like, I don't have experience. I don't know how to problem solve these things yet. Back. Luckily though, this is just paper. It's not my fabric that I bought that I thought was 12 pounds a meter and it was like only 24 pounds a meter, but that's really not the point. Mother, I need your judgment. That's just... That's correct. So I don't understand where this is going wrong. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really I understand. Mean, why is this not doing the thing it's supposed to do? I don't really know where this is going wrong. Um... Do you think this isn't a fabric? Give me a tent with it. Or a um, tablecloth. No. Napkins. But I should. Uh, <laughs> thank you, mummy. <laughs> I'm also learning things as we go, right? So this is a long piece. So straight grain is this way, cross grain is this way, bias grain would be 45 degree angle, which we're not doing. So these need to go that way. Yes. A little later. We did, in fact mum is there we did in fact figure out the thing with the patterns it was simply because i was supposed to like cut it on a fold which was not very well explained there's like one word of it in these instructions that says cut it on a fold which was incredibly confusing but we figured out this is the only thing that says i would have cut it on a fold i fucking wonder i missed that like that's there's nothing there's nothing else in this pattern that explains that it's literally just this Honestly, just spend the 20 minutes it takes to watch a YouTube video on pattern notation. I'll see if I can link the video that I watched. It was this one. It was really good. Just watch it. It would have saved me such a headache. Learn from my mistakes. This is the point of this video. I'm not teaching you how to sew. I'm teaching you how you, how you don't sew. I'm teaching you how not to sew. Anyway. I did a little bit of sewing when I was little. As a teenager, I made a couple skirts. My grandma got me a pattern book, but I never, I had my grandma's like really old, I think my mum's grandma's really old sewing machine, which was convoluted, confusing, and scary. So I never really picked it up the way I think I really desperately wanted to. And so now as an adult with agency and internet access, I decided to finally go for it. Honestly, picking up hobbies that you did as a child, picking them up again as an adult, that, this shit honestly hits so different. It is, oh my God, it's so great. So now the plan is to sew all the panels sides together but because I don't have an overlocker slash a serger I'm gonna try and do French seams. I don't know how to do French seams so we'll see how this goes. The best way I can explain it is that you do it together the correct side and then you stitch here and then you open it again and stitch there. We'll see how that goes. I. I'm aware that this thing requires a lot of ironing. People are always like, oh, you have to press it. I'm like, just call it ironing, okay? Like, calling it pressing does not make it any less depressing that we need to iron so much, okay? I have to iron it. Ugh. I also now need to figure out which is the 
right and wrong side of the fabric and I like I, I quite literally cannot tell. This is a nice, this is like a cotton linen, li, 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 li. this is a cotton linen blend but I, I, I literally, Maybe how is it? There's, How are you supposed to tell? Maybe there's no difference. I don't know if there's a difference. Um, there's a difference. It was expensive, so maybe that adds to its figuring nature, but like, how am I, sp how am I actually supposed to tell though? I don't know how I did that. Right, try again. Okay, I've sewed like two there. Can you see that? And left long bits. Mummy, are you ready to see some witchcraft? Oh shit, I need oh, to make sure I'm pulling the right one. Mm, which one do I need to pull? Oh. Good, isn't it? There we go, that's how it gathers. So yeah, I've sewed that and now I'm gonna do this one. And now I do now know, as you can see, I can, I can ruche things. Ruche, is that the right word? Ruffle, ruche, but I can do it for a beautiful French seam. They are, they are, I'm gonna show you these, I'm so proud of these. I didn't think I'd get to a part of my life where I wanted to brag about the seam, but like, this, mind you, this is obviously the outs, the inside. I'm gonna like try and learn how to like, was it like bias tape to like, go over this to like make it nice on the inside too but like i'm gonna brag to the end of the earth about my goddamn french seams Ugh, beautiful oh my god this is pretty ah. <laughs> I did was I like sewed the belt separately like this right and this fits perfectly the only thing is that I can't figure out really how to stitch this to this I'm just going to take the waist of it I'm going to sew it directly into this and in, using the same method where you just like fold it over um because this, this is also too long and also it made such nice ruffles so let's let's see I think it's fine
Many unbearable hours later. Basically, the belt bit, right, is it's a massive scrunchie. Do you know how many scrunchies I made yesterday? Five. I made five scrunchies yesterday, and one of them is even in mummy's hair. It is. I, yeah, you know what? This isn't shit. It's got a hole in it. So I need to like, and I've got this like fun line up. here. I've got this fun line here of where I stitched it wrong. You can see how wrong I went because I went all the way down here. Turn and I was it. like, Rrr. do it the other way around. I can't. Turn back, it comes to a button. No, so just turn it back to front. I can't turn it back to front. It's very good. Ruffles. No, the better ruffles are on this side. The better ruffles. This way I like embroider something, I don't know. Now it's too long though. It's definitely too long. Oh, you've, got, you've got plenty of... Plenty of... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to like... <gasps> oh, I need to... <laughs> yeah, I need to... It needs, it needs a hemming, hemming. So it's like <laughs> down here and I need it to be like, like that. So <laughs> let's, let's... It's a lot of, it's a lot of fabric actually. I hemmed that last bit of that skirt with just this left. <laughs> The next bit is, is the cleanup. Yeah, I know. Well, what did you think I was doing? like the bank holiday Monday and my friend was like let's you know go to the haberdashery so we went to the John Lewis haberdashery and I found fabric there for two pounds a meter 60% polyester 40% cotton blend but sorry two pounds a meter heck yes it compared to my 24 pounds a meter that I skirt that I made but 
I'm gonna roll here. I'm excited. <laughs> OMG, haberdashery haul. Cute. Right, so obviously a reusable tote. <laughs> the reusable reformation tag i just like when i go into reformation try on the dresses take photos of everything and then like remake it you know the advert it's like you wouldn't steal a car you wouldn't steal a handbag downloading movies is illegal it kind of feels like that it's like you're illegally downloading a dress or like some trousers do you can somebody please tell me that they know what this means anyway look at this fabric i love her i so i bought three meters of this this is, I'm sorry, this is fucking stinking cute. I want to make like these trousers, right? And I want to make then like a top, like a shirt top. So I did end up making those trousers. And when I wore this outfit with the top, I ended up making just to see what it looked like. My brother was like, you look like a prisoner from a Paddington Bear movie. And like, this is like the most niche thing. I still don't know if this was an insult or a compliment or like, but he, like, he wasn't wrong you know? Like, he really wasn't wrong, but I still, I don't, I still don't know how to feel about that comment. Um, but either way, I'm going to save it here for posterity, because what? I saw somebody say that it's really good to do with stripes or gingham. You have a grid that you can follow, so it makes it really easy. And I was like, this seems like a good idea. And then I can make a matching scrunchie. So, see the vision with me. The trousers, the shirt top, and the scrunchie. And what else can I make? I think that like feels beginner friendly. And then this is a cotton polyester blend, which explains why it was like two quid a meter. But also then I want to have this behave differently than to this cotton linen blend I've just made the skirt with, which is not yet finished, but that's really not the point. So this I'm excited about. And then it's this feels very OG YouTube. This is like a denim thread colour um for jeans, because like my friend has jeans that need hemming. <laughs> Very nice. This colour I bought because it like is like definitely like a colour for one of my friends. And also I like this a lot. And then I also bought some baby pink, which is like this feels very me. So these are the thread colours. And then I bought a big boy one. Got a thousand meters of thread, yay! Woo! Thread haul. What what has happened to me? I bought two things of sharing fabric. Sharing fabric. Sharing thread. This is only 20 meters. This is 100 meters of thread. This is only 20 meters of showing for thread. The most annoying fucking thing must be that you're in the middle of doing it and then you run out and you're like, I don't have a spare. So I feel like having a spare of us will always be important. I'm like speaking for almost like five minutes. Like I have any idea of any of this stuff. Like I've just started. And I want more bobbins because I get a feeling that you can clearly never have too many. That was the Haberdashery haul. And I'm so pleased. Two quid a meter. Fuck yeah. This is all just for like teaching myself things. Oh my god, the fact that this could be like actual trousers that I've made and it was only six quid worth of fabric. This was like two pounds something and this was like 11 quid. I... Okay, the sewing machine was expensive, but like the more I do with this, the more it... I'm... I need hobbies to sustain me emotionally, okay? This is fine. This is fine. It's all... I'm... I love this. I love it. You know, actually, also, I've got no excuse to not be filming videos. This is so easy. I just, this is on my phone. I need to make videos again. I'm, I need to, I need to do the video essays if I keep saying I'm going to do, but then never do. I like pussy out way too soon. But like, even this as a setup, this light is great. Yeah, I need to make my bed. I like this. Why did I stop filming my bedroom? Oh, because it feels more grown up. I'm like, girl, I am a girl. Why can't I just film in my bedroom? I just think the same machine is a quarter life crisis. I think we've already said this. Like, you know, applying for jobs is like, it's crap. Like, it's really crap. Like, you apply for things and when you hear nothing, nothing, especially worse because it's a film industry. So, like, it's like great. Um, so, it's like I'm putting on all this effort and I want something tangible out of it. Like, okay, yeah, the idea is at the end I'm going to get a job. <laughs> Please. Um, but I can understand why I'm doing sewing. It's like, okay, I can spend. 12 hours doing this and at the end of it i'll have trousers whereas like spending 12 hours writing cover letters and having diddly fucking squat so i think the, i think the sewing machine is a cry for help but here we are <laughs> king i'm in green yay
most of this time with learning a new sewing skill, are you sharing? I actually did follow a tutorial this time on YouTube before I tried to do it after my goddamn cut on fold fiasco. So I used this video, it was brilliant, it's linked below. Hello, I just figured out something. This is to Emma. When you're losing your mind sharing, I have a top loading machine, which means I need more tension on my elastin for sharing to work. Otherwise, look what happens. My sharing was looking like this. Do you see that? It was actually worse. And like, it's kind of coming through almost. Do you see? I was like coming, yeah, it, perfect. It's coming through like that. It looks spaghetti. There's no tension on it. Um, it's because that needs tension. So then I redid it. And now, hello. This looks like it's supposed to. It's basically supposed to like, yeah. It's going to be like lying flat and then gathering. So I can't believe that I figured this out. Bad, good, bad, good. It was worse. I did like half of this of my first row and it looked fucking shit. And I was like, what the hell? I had to unpick half the fabric width of that length. Sorry, because I fucked it up. But now I tested it because you're supposed to test things. But I was ambitious, so. And my tension is on five. Needle is in the middle. Can ignore that and I'm on stitch length. Four. More tension. I tried to wind it with this, did not work. Just wound it with more pizzazz. And it worked. Let, let, let's pray again, okay? This is definitely starting to look more like it's supposed to. And it's doing it again. What the fuck is this? This looks like this. What the fuck is this? Can't say I was planning on getting to know how to use my seam ripper quite, quite so <laughs> intimately. Fuck's sake. I've just done this test piece, which looks really good this is my other good one that's my bad one this one good i think it also means it has to be caught around this bit otherwise the tension is like fucked i think this is how let's see how this goes again where did i get to where are you oh there you go which way where am i going where am i going what am i doing i don't know i this is right. Um, let's just, nope. Okay, better. Um, and I'm gonna put taut, otherwise you'll fuck it up. So it's gonna be flat, which means I plan on like doing all of this. Like I, I, I am this thing called incredibly ambitious. <laughs> I call it the ADHD audacity. I'm sure I've mentioned that already in this video, but like the fucking audacity I somehow have. For someone who's never done this shit before, to do something so ambitious, and the fact that, like, I'm still going. The one thing I will say, this aged like a fine wine, learning, like, projects and, like, different skills, like, this is my patience. I've been told in the past, you're a patient person, I never fucking believed it, because I'm also ADHD, I'm ADHD, so I'm also impulsive, right? Um, I now genuinely believe I'm patient, because to do this without having, like, that visceral meltdown is, like, a skill I've acquired doing shit like this and filmmaking filmmaking will do that too anyway let's 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 see i'm gonna have a meltdown now get yeah, pull and pray press and pray anyway yes yes okay okay we're like getting there is this correct oh my god it's correct no correct. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. La, 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 la. You know what, I'll do. Mm. Mm. 
and they all move. I am just gonna sew this and I hope it goes well. I know my hands need to be over here. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh oh. <gasps> no, how did I do that? Oh, okay, never mind. So apparently sewing requires a level of um, a faith, and by faith I don't mean faith in your machine or faith that the techniques you're following are correct. I mean faith in God that this is all going to go okay. Fuck. This is like my million dollar question right now. This is so stinking cute. Do I like? Do I leave it? Or do I just? Mm. The only thing I'm obviously not, okay. Imagine you're pregnant. That, that is so stinking cute. I've also, for whatever reason, got way too much. You need like 1.4 to like two times the amount of fabric. You know, so this is gonna be way too long, so I don't really know how to mm, figure it out. This is cute though. Like, hello, she's adorable. And I'm like doing this myself, what the fuck? Um, do we see the vision though? Like, we're getting there. We're getting there. I am so proud of this. This is so good. Look, and then on the other side. Huzzah! I made this myself. Right, now I'm going to iron it. This side up. And apparently that's meant to do something when I steam just above it. So let's find out. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, did you see that? Oh my God, it's moving! What? Oh my God, are you serious? Oh my God, that was so cool. I'm also just giving myself a facial in the meantime. legitimately really cool. <laughs> Whoops. Am I like actually for real right now? This is so cute. Look at the little ruffles. Like that is, what? Um, I left like the top a bit smaller than the bottom, so there's more space here, but they ruffle like in the cutest way. That just shrunk so much. So I now basically need to figure out how I'm gonna cut this and I guess, you know, measure my own measurements to figure out where we're gonna try and cut this and pray. But what the heck? That is so cute. Ah, nice. This is the point that I wanna like do my c because that's what fits me, but I've just done these two lines with itty bitty little stitches to try and secure this before I cut. <laughs> cut this side off. Ah! I'm like honestly legitimately quite stressed right now. Oh my God, okay. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh my god, that's stressful. What do I do with you now? Nah, it's not enough. That was like legitimately quite stressful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And then when I try to go turn these inside out, disaster, disaster struck. Um, so in true Emma ADHD fashion, I, I apparently just got so frustrated that I forgot to finish this video. Um, the end? <laughs> yeah, okay, just kidding. Um, so here is the actual finished top. I actually kind of want to cry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm wearing an outfit. I complete. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wearing an outfit. I made myself from scratch with my hands, my machine, and my brain, and a dress pattern that was difficult to follow. This patternless. I 
<laughs> what? I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing shorts because this is not this is see through. She is so summery and cute. What the hell? I made this myself. I made this myself. I I don't know if I filmed. Like I added the straps and the little bows. I I need to finish them off on the end properly because um, they're just like that at the moment. But. I love having the ADHD audacity to just be like, I can do that, cause I did. Was it hard? Like, no, these things are all learnable. Did I kind of want to lose my mind when I can figure out why the sharing was not working? Yes. However, did I still get it done? Heck yeah. Is this perfect? No, but you know what? I'm actually really damn proud of it. It did not need to be perfect by any stretch of imagination. Like it's the second thing that I've made. I've also made a bunch of things since this video is on a while old. It took me a while to finish. Um, so I've ended up making quite a few things for friends and family. And what's really fun, I made this specific top. I've made it like five times now. Um, and it just means that I've got better each time and you know that is the really annoying thing um, about learning a new skill is you're, you're supposed to learn not <laughs> magically be good at everything from day one um nobody nobody told me that what you're supposed to learn <laughs> what some of the other things that I've made. I've also mended quite a lot of clothes at this point and that's one of the things I enjoy the most. Like I've done that again a lot for friends and family. I've altered a lot of things too, you know, we shouldn't be asking the world to have our clothes fit. Like how ridiculous is that? I love doing this. This is one of these things, I also hate doing it, um, but it is a labour of love, that is for absolute sure. And I mean, I've spoken so long about how much I detest fast fashion, habits around it, all of the environmental impact, my gripe with like certain fabrics and stuff, things disintegrating. The more that I've learned now to sew and to understand quality, I now, for the things I know I can't make, I have a better judge of what is well made and what isn't, what will last and what won't, what fabrics are good, what aren't for certain things. This is circular fashion. This is slow ass fashion. Like I want it, I can make it. And the other thing is, things I've made for friends and family, they know they can never ever throw them away. Like this is also like sentimental guilt up in here, right? Like I have made you this dress, are you gonna throw this out after you wear it once? No, or I'll have your head. If you like this yellow dress, by the way, there may, there may, there may just be a video on the way, <laughs> eventually. This is one of the best hobbies that I've picked up. And I also thought about it in terms of, okay, my sewing machine was like 300 pounds. Even if all I ever do with it was make a couple clothes, then mend things forever. A sewing machine is meant to last a generation. This is meant to last 30 years. It'll be worth every penny. And it already has been. Like the blue dress that I made, that was 80 quid's worth of fabric. For a dress if you bought would be like 400 pounds. I saved 320 pounds. That is some girl math right there for you. But like this, it's so fun. And I, I really recommend it as a skill. It's, I cannot believe it is no longer a basic skill, but it really, really should be. Sewing should be as basic to us as cooking is, and it's insane that it isn't. But yes, there we are. Thank you very, very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you all, hopefully sometime, somewhere. Goodbye. Bye.